This is a short film designed to introduce uh, how you make reports in TurboCAD. This is designed for people who are totally new to this aspect of uh, TurboCAD. It's not aimed at people who know how to put databases together. If you, if you have any experience of putting databases together now, this will be a walk in the park for you and uh, you can turn off and do something more useful. But if this is new to you, I'm going to show you, or rather explain to you, roughly how how it works in a very general way so you've got some sort of an idea and then you should go through the exercise in the manual um, it's very good actually in the manual it takes you through very clearly and uh, it's easy to follow so let's go and of course this is, is far far more powerful than I'm going to show you now you can you can do all sorts of things far more detailed than I'm going to show you but anyway a start so this is a table I've knocked up and uh, if we look at it in wireframe now the first thing we need to do is to define the fields, they're called the fields, define fields so what type of fields do we want, what, do we, what sort of information do we want from this database, well we might want parts numbers click on where it says data type it says text, well it might include numbers so it'll be an integer not a text and we can put a description if we want but won't bother that. Uh, we might want a description after the parts number might uh, uh, well, I've got two eyes there uh, might be useful that'll be a text and here you can say what it is that may or may not be necessary after that it might be the vendor where you bought the thing that'll be a text and that will be the supplier and last for this uh, exercise we'll put in the cost now clicking there the cost obviously won't be text the cost will be currency and that'll be the price so here we've laid out our table now we have to start putting information about what we have in there so if I select the tabletop, right click, go to properties and custom and now I'm going to attach the details of it. Now I want all these details, so I'm going to click on, put the finger on shift, select all of those and say OK. Parts number, I don't know what's the top tabletop isn't it, let's, uh, let's say T1. Description, it's a tabletop. Just call it top. Vendor, where did we buy it? Well we bought it at my shop, Traces. And a cost, well, it's a very, very nice tabletop. So it's going to be 600 quid. Okay. Now, the legs. So we'll select all the legs and we'll do the same thing. Right click, go to properties, custom, attach. We want the whole lot. Okay. Parts number. Maybe these are legs, are, maybe these are L1. Description. Legs, four, or whatever you want to say about. The vendor. And we bought this at Thompson's. And a cost, well, they were 25 quid each. Okay. Now we've got some other parts here, but we'll just do one other thing. We'll do these ties here. I don't know uh, what they sort of call them ties, I suppose that'll do. Properties, custom, attach. Again, all the bits we want. Parts number. Well, I don't know if they're called ties, we'll call them T1. Description, ties. I don't know if it's spelt the same way. T I, oops, sorry. T I E S. That's probably wrong, never mind. And where did we buy them? We bought them at Browns. And they cost, well, they were 12 quid each. Okay. Right, so there's other things. And obviously if there were knobs and whatever, we'd, we'd, we'd go through that process again with all of them. So now we can create the report. So we go to Tools, Database, Report. And we want to create a report. Right, so we give it a title. 
Say comments. I don't know. For Mr. White. Whatever. We're not going to do a detail. We're not going to get into any details here. This is a general overview. So it's, we're going to have a summary. Click on to custom. If we open this, here's the fields that we've created. So we want to add all these fields to our report. Okay. And we might want to add other ones. We might want to add, say just for this, we're going to add materials. We're just going to add one extra one, but you can add as many as you'd like. This report can be as detailed as you wish. In common, pretty sure in common, there's materials. Yeah, there is. Materials. And we'll add materials. Okay. We can go to advanced report if we want. So there's all sorts of other things we can do. We can turn things on and off, but for this one we won't bother with that. We just stay where we are. We say okay. Now, when I added those materials, remember when you first saw this thing, it had materials on it. This was a checkered pattern. These, was, I think these were a wood. This was a metal. So, when we now look at it, we go to Tools, Database, Report. Here's our report. It's called Table. Um, we can edit it if we want to change anything to it. Okay. Uh, we can copy it delete it obviously and click on here report and there's our report so we got four of these at 12 quid we got four of those we got one of those here's a description of them we put in parts number didn't seem to come up for some reason I must have made a little mistake there I would have to go back and edit that and see what I find I've done wrong the vendor is where we bought these parts and the materials, the materials that were added to them from within TurboCAD. So uh, metals, that was a red silver one. Yeah, those, those, those legs were uh, miscellaneous blue marble, right? Okay, so that's all there, I'm taking it from. Now, so if we go along the top here, we've got an export. We've got a page set up, we can move it about a bit, make it look a bit different if we want. That's a print, obviously. This one adds up columns. So if we click onto there, and then click onto here, that adds up that column for us. And this one brings in insert table into the drawing. So click onto that, insert table style, every column with width, all columns. So we go and go through, you look through these and see how it goes. And there's our table. Now, if we now look at this in plan form, here's the table. Now, the table's really a bit big and one. I mean there's far too much space here isn't there for the information that we need. So what we would do is we would produce a table for that report. And if you go to tools, palettes and then down the bottom style manager, table styles, you see standard. This is our standard top, um, table and here it is down here. Now, because that's not right, what we will do is we create a new one. So, click on here, up the top here, create new style. Click on to it, here it is. I'll call this Paul's Table Report. Okay, okay, here it is there. Now we would open this up and we would change all these to what we wanted. So data, textile standard, open it, we could try change that text height, 6.5 text height, let's make it much bigger, let's make it much bigger. Uh, cell, full colour, none, well, we'll just change it, I mean we'll just do something random here, as the kids would say, just so you can see the difference. Header, include the header, colour by block, cell colour none. Again, put a colour in here if we want. Let's watch we put that one in. There we go. And title. And the height of the text height in the title here. We change that as well. We'll make that really big. Might be too big, never mind. And that's Paul's table report. 
Okay, now up here we get some options. We can create a, a new style again. We can rename this style or we can delete the style. Clear the style changes. Apply the style changes. Apply the style changes to that there, which is what I want. So, next time that I go to my tools, database, report, table, and I want to report. Here's my report. Hang on, what have I done wrong? Hang on, reports, report. I'm oh, sorry, there it is. And insert my table. I've now got a choice of the standard one or the one I've just created. So if I have the one I've just created, you'll see it looks a fair bit different. Miles from being perfect, but you can see it's quite easy to, to customize your, uh, your table so that the, the, your words fit in and you know, it just looks a lot better. And that's about it really. That's just a, a quick overview. Hopefully that will, you know, after seeing this, you get more of an idea about the feel of the whole thing. But I would urge you to go through the manual uh, on, in TurboCAD for this, uh, which, is, which starts on page 624 for the 18. And it's pretty good. It's pretty easy to follow. Okay, so best of luck.